Did you know that micronutrient deficiencies, also known as vitamin deficiencies, affect over 2 billion people worldwide? That's nearly one-third of the global population struggling with a lack of essential vitamins and minerals their bodies need to function properly. These deficiencies have a significant impact on our overall health, increasing our risk of various chronic diseases, including heart disease, strokes, chronic kidney disease, type 2 diabetes, vision loss, cognitive decline, and many types of cancers. While a healthy lifestyle is key, getting enough vitamins is crucial for kidney health. Vitamins aid in waste removal, cell protection, mineral balance, blood pressure regulation, and immune function, all of which contribute to optimal kidney function. In today's video, let's learn about some of the most essential vitamins to help improve your kidney's health. We'll also see how you can get enough of these nutrients through diet or supplements. Number 1. Vitamin B Complex 8 B vitamins, including B1 thiamine, B2 riboflavin, B3 niacin, B6, B7 biotin, B9 folate, and B12 cobalamin, make up the B complex. Generally, these water-soluble vitamins play vital roles in energy metabolism, cell division, and red blood cell production. Research published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology in 2017 suggests that adequate levels of vitamin B6 are crucial for healthy kidney function. It assists with amino acid metabolism and red blood cell formation, both essential for proper kidney function. Furthermore, vitamin B9 folate plays a vital role in DNA synthesis and cell division. Studies show that maintaining sufficient B9 levels can help prevent the accumulation of homocysteine, a molecule associated with inflammation, a risk factor for kidney disease. Vitamin B12 works in line with B9 for DNA synthesis and cell division. Together, these B vitamins may contribute to kidney repair and reduce inflammation, potentially slowing kidney disease progression. Our kidneys are composed of approximately 19% protein, highlighting the importance of proper protein metabolism. The B complex plays a key role in this process, aiding in the breakdown and utilization of protein throughout the body. A 2012 study showed that adequate B vitamin intake can help prevent proteinuria, a condition in which there's too much protein leaking into urine and indicates kidney damage. It also showed that B vitamins could significantly decrease the risk of forming kidney stones. For most healthy people, getting B vitamins from a healthy diet is the most suitable approach. Leafy green vegetables, fruits, lean meats, fish, eggs, nuts, and seeds are all excellent sources of these essential nutrients. But if you have been diagnosed with chronic disease, you might be on a restricted diet and eventually not be able to get enough of these vitamins from diet alone. That's where supplements come in, but be sure to ask your doctor for the recommended dosage according to your health condition and individual needs. Number 2. Vitamin D. A significant link exists between vitamin D and kidney health. A study published in Endocrine Practice in 2010 estimated that about 60 to 70 percent of chronic kidney disease patients may have low vitamin D levels. Some studies even showed that vitamin D deficiency increases the risk of developing end-stage renal disease by as much as 30 percent. ESRD is considered to be the most severe form of CKD and requires dialysis or kidney transplantation. This essential vitamin plays a crucial role in maintaining healthy kidneys by regulating calcium levels, reducing proteinuria risk, lowering inflammation, and supporting blood pressure regulation. Studies show that vitamin D acts as a director for calcium absorption. In the intestines, vitamin D stimulates the production of certain proteins that allow calcium to pass from the gut into your bloodstream. Interestingly, vitamin D has also been shown to regulate the process by which our body stores and takes calcium out of the bones. So vitamin D deficiency can make it very likely that calcium might not stay in your bones and gets released into your bloodstream, 
increasing your risk of developing kidney disease. In fact, studies show that vitamin D supplementation can potentially prevent proteinuria. Vitamin D's anti-inflammatory properties can also help lower inflammation in the kidneys, allowing them to repair and heal. Plus, it can potentially improve the function of small blood vessels in the kidneys, allowing them to hold urine in your bloodstream and preventing it from releasing into the urine. Vitamin D also plays a role in blood pressure regulation. Notably, 85% of individuals with CKD have hypertension, and nearly 95% of those with end-stage renal disease were found to have high blood pressure, according to a 2018 study. Studies show that vitamin D might enhance the function of the endothelium, the inner lining of blood vessels, making them more flexible and relaxed, thereby potentially reducing peripheral vascular resistance and lowering blood pressure. It also might interact with the hormonal system that practically regulates blood pressure. To provide your body with enough vitamin D naturally, expose your bare skin like arms, legs, face to moderate sunlight for 15 to 20 minutes several times a week, ideally between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. However, it's essential to avoid sunburn by using sunscreen after the recommended exposure time, especially if you have fair skin or spend too much time outdoors. Another good thing to do is have vitamin D-rich foods in your diet. Some of the good sources are fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, and sardines, in addition to dairy products like milk, yogurt, plant-based milk alternatives, cereals, fortified orange juice, and egg yolks. Consider vitamin D supplements if sun exposure and dietary intake are insufficient to maintain healthy levels. However, Consultation with your healthcare professional is vital before starting any supplements. Number 3. Vitamin E. Studies show a potential link between vitamin E and promoting healthy kidney function. A 2016 review in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition analyzed data from over 16,000 participants and observed that those with the highest vitamin E intake had a 20% lower risk of developing chronic kidney disease compared to those with the lowest intake. Another study published in 2018 demonstrated that vitamin E supplementation reduced proteinuria in individuals with nephropathy. This condition is often associated with high blood sugar levels, is very common in people with diabetes, and can severely damage the kidneys. Vitamin E is a potent antioxidant as it helps neutralize harmful free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules produced during normal bodily processes or through environmental exposure like smoke or pollution. When present in excess, these free radicals can damage cell membranes, DNA, and other cellular components. This damage, known as oxidative stress, is a significant contributor to the development and progression of various chronic diseases, including kidney disease. By neutralizing free radicals, vitamin E helps protect kidney cells from oxidative stress and potentially slows down damage. Inflammation is the body's natural response to injury or infection. However, chronic inflammation can contribute to various health problems, including kidney disease. Research suggests that vitamin E may possess anti-inflammatory properties, potentially reducing inflammation in the kidneys. This could be beneficial for individuals with conditions like nephropathy, where chronic inflammation contributes to kidney damage. The daily recommended intake of vitamin E for adults is 15 mg. For that, you can have nuts, almonds, peanuts, hazelnuts, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, Sesame seeds, leafy green vegetables like spinach, kale, and vegetable oils like olive oil, avocado oil, and sunflower oil. Number 4. Vitamin A. Healthy kidneys rely on specialized cells called podocytes to filter waste products from your blood. Research, including a study published in Renal Physiology in 2017, suggests that vitamin A can help protect these podocytes from damage potentially reducing the risk of proteinuria, a marker of kidney dysfunction. Beyond protecting podocytes, 
Vitamin A plays several essential roles in kidney health. Vitamin A is essential for proper cell differentiation and growth, allowing your kidneys to maintain their structure and function by ensuring the proper development and replacement of vital kidney cells. This essential vitamin also contributes to regulating your immune responses, potentially helping to protect your kidneys from infections and inflammatory damage. Dietary Recommendations and Sources Most adult men need about 900 micrograms of vitamin A daily, while most adult women require around 700 micrograms. To meet your vitamin A needs, you can incorporate a variety of healthy sources into your diet, including fruits and vegetables like carrots, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, apricots, peaches, mangoes, fatty fish like salmon, tuna, and especially cod liver oil. Number 5. Vitamin C. Vitamin C plays a crucial role in supporting healthy kidney function through several mechanisms. As an antioxidant, vitamin C helps neutralize harmful free radicals, unstable molecules that can damage cells and tissues, including those in your kidneys. This protection helps reduce the risk of cell damage and potentially contributes to overall kidney health. It also supports your immune system's health. A strong immune system is crucial for fighting off infections that could potentially harm your kidneys. Research suggests that vitamin C may contribute to strengthening the immune system, potentially aiding in preventing and combating infections. Vitamin C is also important for the production of collagen, a protein that provides structural support to various tissues in your body, including your kidneys. Adequate vitamin C levels can help maintain the integrity of kidney tissue and the tiny blood vessels within the kidneys, which is important for proper kidney function. Dietary Recommendations and Sources The recommended daily intake of vitamin C for most healthy adults is 90 mg for men and 75 mg for women. You can readily obtain sufficient vitamin C from various dietary sources including citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, and lemons, vegetables like bell peppers, strawberries, tomatoes, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. It's important to note that excessive vitamin C intake, particularly through supplements, might be harmful for individuals with chronic kidney disease. This is because vitamin C can be converted into oxalate, a component found in some types of kidney stones. A study involving over 23,000 men found that those taking excessive vitamin C supplements had approximately double the risk of developing kidney stones. Therefore, consult your healthcare professional before taking vitamin C supplements, especially if you have CKD or any other health concerns. They can assess your individual needs and recommend safe and appropriate vitamin C intake strategies based on your specific situation. In addition to the vitamins already discussed, several other nutrients may offer potential benefits for kidney health. Number 1. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Found in fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, flax seeds, walnuts, and chia seeds, these essential fatty acids possess anti-inflammatory properties. Research suggests they might help reduce inflammation and slow down the progression of chronic kidney disease. It's important to consult your doctor before significantly increasing your intake, especially if you take blood thinning medications. Number 2. Magnesium. This mineral plays a crucial role in blood pressure regulation. Magnesium acts as a natural calcium channel blocker. It helps relax the smooth muscle cells lining the blood vessel walls. When these muscles relax, the blood vessels widen, allowing blood to flow more easily thereby reducing blood pressure. Studies suggest that maintaining healthy magnesium levels may be beneficial for managing blood pressure, potentially reducing the risk of kidney damage caused by chronic hypertension. Consult your doctor before taking supplements, as high dietary intake or excessive supplementation can be harmful. Number 3. Probiotics These live bacteria present in fermented foods, including yogurt, Kimchi, sauerkraut, and supplements might contribute to gut health. 
Emerging research suggests a potential link between gut health and kidney function, although further research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms. Consult your doctor before starting probiotics, especially if you have a weakened immune system or any underlying health conditions. Number 4. Coenzyme Q10 This antioxidant might offer potential benefits for individuals with certain types of kidney disease, such as diabetic nephropathy. Coenzyme Q10 plays a crucial role in the mitochondria, the energy powerhouses of cells. In diabetic nephropathy, mitochondrial dysfunction is observed. Studies suggest that coenzyme Q10 supplementation might help improve mitochondrial function in individuals with this condition, potentially leading to better energy production and reduced cell damage in the kidneys. Research suggests that coenzyme Q10 may possess anti-inflammatory properties. In diabetic nephropathy, chronic inflammation contributes to kidney damage. Coenzyme Q10 supplementation might potentially reduce inflammation in the kidneys, thereby offering some protection against further damage. Number 5. Potassium. This mineral works alongside sodium to regulate fluid balance in the body. Maintaining a healthy potassium-to-sodium ratio is essential for kidney health. Good sources of potassium include fruits like bananas, oranges, cantaloupe, vegetables including potatoes, spinach, mushrooms, and dairy products like low-fat milk and yogurt. However, individuals with specific kidney conditions might need to restrict their potassium intake. Consult your healthcare professional for personalized guidance. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with everyone you care about. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.